What is the difference between I have a goal, but in the execution process, I detach during that moment so that I'm just focused on the execution of the process. See, it is fantastic to have goals. It is fantastic to have a North Star. They provide clarity and they provide direction. But once you have the North Star crystallize, you can take your eyes off of it and you need to put it on what's right in front of you. The daily behaviors, the action steps, execution of the playbook. You have to focus on the process. The best analogy I can think of is if, if I was tasked with building a brick wall, don't worry about the wall. Focus on the bricks. Don't worry about the wall, focus on the bricks. If I can take one brick and set it exactly where it needs to go, and then I pick up the next brick and set it exactly where it needs to go, if I do that consistently over time, the wall just takes care of itself. I don't have to be worried about the wall. I have to focus on laying bricks. And that's also what I have control over is laying bricks. The juice isn't in the gold, the juice is in the bricks. Now from a basketball analogy, uh, I had an opportunity to work with Queens University as uh, one of the top division two uh, men's basketball programs in the United States. And their previous coach, Bart Lundy, is a good friend of mine. And he has broken it down at Queens University that there are four key stats in the game of basketball that heavily impact whether or not they win the game. Number one, turnover differential. If we have more possessions than our opponent, it gives us a better chance to win. Second is offensive rebound differential. If we can rebound our own misses and take more shots than our opponent, it gives us a better chance to win. Number three, free throws attempted. The free throw in college basketball is the highest percentage shot based on each possession. If we can take more of those than our opponent, it gives us a better chance to win. And last is three-pointers attempted. The three-pointer in the college game is a massive weapon. If we can take more clean looks from three than our opponent, it gives us a better chance to win. When Queens University comes out on top in those four stats, they win 97% of their games. I'm gonna say that again because I don't think y'all think that's as cool as I do. When they came out on top in those four statistical categories, they won 97% of their games. What do you think Coach Lundy and his staff talk about, remind, and emphasize before every workout, every practice, every film session, and before every game? Those four things. He never talks about winning, championships, banners, or trophies. Why? If they do those four things, winning, championship, trophies, and banners take care of themselves. You don't have to focus on them. When you focus on the process, the scoreboard takes care of itself. So it's focusing on the things that we have the, the control over. John Wooden's probably the winningest coach in all time. He never discussed winning at all. Ever. It was all process. For me, it's never about perfection. It's just about progress. It's not a perfection game. It's a progress game. So for me, can I be better in 2024 than I've been in 2023 in every area of my life? That's the only game that I'm playing. Well, here's how they, people need to apply that. So once again, and I'm so glad that you brought up the point that, well, I may use basketball examples because that's where I've spent most of my life. Folks need to take these and figure out how they can you know, apply them to their situation. So step number one is figure out what, what does winning look like to you? Or what does success look like to you? Again, this could be in your marriage. This could be you know, in your business. This could be for something you're doing in your community. But figure out what does winning look like? Now, a business example of the exact same tune was I've got a really good friend of mine, a fellow, a fellow speaking colleague, but before he became a professional speaker, he ran a very successful pool installation company. He basically sold pools for a living. And to his own admission, he was a little bit of a data nerd and he loved checking out the backend analytics on the website and on his social channels. And he figured out that when a prospective customer consumed 30 or more pieces of content, blogs, articles, videos, social posts, pages on the website. When a prospective customer viewed 30 or more pieces of content, they purchased the pool 85% of the time. When a prospective customer viewed fewer or less than 30 pieces of content, articles, blogs, videos, social posts, pages on the website, when they viewed fewer than 30 pieces of content, they purchased the pool 20 percent of the time. Now obviously the goal in his business is to sell pools, but that's not what him and his team focused on. You know what they focused on? Creating a steady stream of consistent content, compelling content, captivating content that would educate the customer base. 
His goal wasn't to sell a pool. His goal was to get pros prospective customers to view 30 or more pieces of content because then the pools would sell themselves. Take your eyes off of the goal and put it on the process. Every single one of you and every single one of your team members should show up every single day saying, what can I do today to inch us closer to the goal that we've set? You just have to get crystal clear on what winning looks like to you. And then you need to figure out what are the measurable building blocks, yeah. the bricks, if you will, that will allow me to reach that goal. And then once you have that North Star, take your eyes off of it and just focus on the bricks.